Well, I got a couple thoughts on the game. You know, I thought uh, I thought our pitching staff did a tremendous job. You know, really, we gave them a couple unearned runs there. Uh, didn't make a, a play at second and then third, and uh, you know, but just can basically just pounded the strike zone most of the night, and uh, a lot of different arm slots and angles and good velocity. Uh, you know, Blaine started out, uh, you know, a little slow on the mound. I, I felt like I think he. You know, like I've made the comment many times. I think he's just really grown up as a as a pitcher, and he wasn't, you know, trying to be overpowering. He just pitched, and you know, it seemed like maybe the second and third inning he started, you know, working his his curveball and his change up a little bit better. Yeah, but he had three three different innings where he, you know, there were twenty minutes between coming off the field and then getting back out there and. Uh, but for that, we'd have sent him back out for the sixth. He really had about 15, 20 more pitches he could have thrown. Uh, we just, but we just felt like we had too much downtime and the temperature, uh, you know, long season. But uh, just proud of the pitching staff for doing such a great job. And then, obviously, on the offensive end, you got a big two out hit in the first, scored the first run. We ended up scoring three more, and uh, you know, piled it, in, you know, piled it on in the second a little bit with uh, a little bit of everything, some doubles. Um, you know, big, I think a big two out home run that kind of, you know, capped it off there by, by Carson. So it was a good, good game all the way around for the most part. It just took too long. Something else got the preseason picture of the league or of the year in their league. Uh, you guys got him out in yeah. short order. What did you think of the way you guys did against him? I thought we did a great job of laying off a, a lot of marginal pitches early in the count. We got his pitch count up, fouled off a lot of pitches. Um, you know, just got you know got a couple big two out hits and uh, you know a couple of big two out walks. To be honest with you, there were some three two counts, bases loaded, borderline pitches that were low. I think Carson took one there uh, in one of the innings, and um, you know kind of ran together. It might have been the first inning. It punched in another run, and you know we just didn't chase a lot of pitches. And you know, very unusual for him to to walk people. If you look at his at his numbers from last year. He walked very many. Um, tonight he did, and uh, obviously, you throw 40 pitches in one inning, you're not going to be around long. You wait the whole season to play, and then you bat through the order the first inning. What's it like watching that? Well, it was good. I mean, it was uh, obviously I don't know, you know, just just excited for our players. You know, they work hard, and you know, the game's for them. You know, we just try to get them prepared and. Let them play on game day and uh, and have some fun, and they they did a good job of, of that tonight, both offensively, you know, and uh, obviously on the mound. Dave, when it's cold like that, is it hard to pitch? A little hard bit, yeah, a little bit, but you know, it wasn't too bad. It was actually a lot better than we thought it was going to be. And uh, at the beginning of the game, you know, we really weren't too many guys wearing coats, you know, just uh, going out and playing the game a little bit and. Start there at the end, it started getting a little, little bit chilly. But uh, yeah, it's a little difficult to grip the ball when it's that cold. But uh, hey, they handled it. What did you feel about Kerstad's? I mean, first at bat to be in that situation. Well, it was a, you know, it was a clutch at bat of the inning because, you know, uh, the hitter before him struck out and you know left a couple of guys out there in scoring position. We need RBI there, and then he comes through with a big hit, score a runner from second, and then obviously. You know, it, it, it changed the game. It changed, obviously, how long their starter was going to be in the game because he was out there for another, I think, five or six hitters and probably another 25 pitches and uh, pretty much uh, set the tone for the game once we uh, put those four runs up in the first. What did you like about having him in the five spot to open the season? Well, I wanted a, I wanted a left-handed hitter behind Bonfield, who's right-handed hitter in the in the four hole. And you know we, we knew from just looking at matchup numbers and some video that uh, the lefties had a lot more success against him last year than the right-handers did. So I didn't want to have two righties back to back. So I put you know some of the right-handers down there. You know put you know Cook down there a little bit and Carson down there. You know the just just to break it up a little bit and and uh, you know it seemed to work a little bit. Just the uh, pitchers you were able to use. I mean, just kind of like the guys you put in there. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the the order we we were planning on going. Uh, obviously, if the game would have been tight in the middle of the game, then 
we would have probably gone with an older pitcher, say a Rindle or someone. But we just felt like if we were doing well, we wanted to get some of these young guys on the mound, at least two of them, which was Ramage and Bonham. I thought they both did a really nice job. And, uh, you know, Bonham, they scored a couple runs that inning, but really uh, they were both on earned runs. And uh, he got two ground balls, Should, probably had two outs, and uh, then they got a hit. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he, he bounced back and got a fly ball and double play ball or whatever it was and did a good job getting us in, in the dugout. You said Chris Stanton was really good in the fall. What's, what's he been like after the break? You know, uh, he probably not as hot, to be honest with you, uh, but his BP yesterday was really good, probably the best he had had uh, that, that I had noticed anyway. Um, you know, since the break, and then his BP today in pregame was good, and and he took it to the game. You know, that ball he hit off the wall was was absolutely hammered, and uh, um, you know it's good to see. It's good to see. Having a guy like Shaddy being able to put him in the nine hole and get that kind of production, what does that do for you? you well, it's play? like you know I told him last week that it, it don't don't really get all uptight about where you're at in the batting order. You know, we we feel like if you're hitting in the eight hole you might be hitting clean up in the second inning. You know, that's the way we look at it. And I think one of the guys, I think it might have been Cole, made a comment the other day to the media that, you know, it doesn't really matter after the first inning anyway. Uh, we feel like we've got nine good hitters in the lineup, um, you know, when we start a game and, and we're going to wear down the pitcher. That That's what we want to do. We want to wear him down where, you know, a lot of times you, you, you get to the six, seven, eight, nine hole hitter. As a pitcher, you're thinking, ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through this inning a little easier, and uh, if we don't if we don't give them, you know, any indication that we that's the way they're gonna handle this lineup, it wears it wears them down mentally as much as physically, and uh, you know if they make a mistake or two, we can hurt them, and that's that's what I saw tonight. What are you hoping to get, and what's it gonna be like to see Isaiah take the mound for you tomorrow? Yeah, it'd be you know, well, it's gonna be great to see him out there pitching and. You know, we've had the opportunity of seeing him, and I've made the comment, you know, I think really it's more of the fans and y'all haven't seen him pitch. We've seen him pitch a lot. We, we know how good he is and how good he can be and will be. Um, and I'm excited for him. You know, I think he feels like that, you know, he let us down last year and he got hurt. He knew that he was going to one of the main pieces to our pitching staff, and it just happens. You know, it's the way it goes. You have to have depth. and. Uh, uh, it's been great to have him last year, but we got him this year, so we're excited.